Hey Cricketers, thanks for watching another one of my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute flower pots. I found them from the Dollar Tree. They were only one dollar. I made them for grandmas, teachers, moms, nanas. You can give these to anybody. They're such a cute gift. You can add your favorite flowers to complete your project. Comment below letting me know which design that you like best. So we're going to start with the first design. It says, Miss Bosch, thank you for helping me grow. Step one, we're going to design our project in Cricut Design Space. Um, we're just doing a simple text. I'm using the font tater top. I'll leave a link in the description. So I'm writing, Miss Bosch, thank you for helping me grow. Step two, measure your project in resize in Design Space using a ruler I measured it's about five and a half inches by four inches so I like to keep all my designs under that size step three cut your vinyl so I'm using a black matte Oracle 651 vinyl um, this is the permanent kind that people use for things like car window decals so it should be fine to keep these outside I've actually made flower pots in the past for my mother-in-law and she still has it like two years later and it looks great. Step four, we're gonna cut on the Cricut. We don't need to mirror our image because we're not using a heat transfer vinyl. Select your setting. I'm using vinyl on the Cricut Maker. And then cut on your machine. Step five, we're gonna weed our project. Weeding is when you take away the vinyl that you don't want until you're left with your design that you do want. So we're picking away all the little pieces in between the letters. Step six, clean your surface. I use isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free wipe. Step seven, transfer your design using transfer tape. The transfer tape that I have is really sticky, so I always stick it to my shirt before I do the transfer. This is my own little Cricut hack. Did you guys know that transfer tape is reusable? I'm using smaller pieces right now because I'm just using transfer tape that I have lying around instead of cutting a new piece. I really love making personalized gifts. I also love receiving them. Um, they're just so thoughtful. Next, we're gonna work on design two. This is the one that says, Nana, we love you. So this says step one, upload design. We're not really uploading a design. We're actually uploading a font. I need to go to Creative Fabrica and get the font that I wanna use. It's called Love Mom. And this is the font that I use to write, we love you. It's a super pretty font. I just love it. It's one of my favorites. And it's been favorited 613 times by other people too, so you know it's a really good one. It's 
It's very easy to download and install a bot. I'm just walking you through the process right now and, you know, click install. I'm sure you guys have noticed that all the fonts that I'm using are from Creative Fabrica. Um, I like this website because everything comes with a commercial license, which is important if you want to sell things. I pay one low monthly fee and it gives me unlimited access to every single thing on their website. You also have the option of buying fonts in SPGs individually if you don't want to pay for a monthly subscription. So I changed my font to Love Mom, but I'm missing the special characters that I want. So I have to go to Character Map. So click on the Start menu, type in the word Character Map, and then this little box is going to pop up. Then using the drop down menu, look for the font that you're trying to find. In this case, we're looking for Love Mom. And then scroll down until you find the letters or characters or embellishments that you're looking for. This is where you find all the loopy hearts, the arrows, anything like that. So then you just select and copy and paste it into Design Space. I'm getting rid of my old E's and replacing them with the heart E's and then looking for the W and the U at the beginning and the end. Right now my cursive letters aren't touching, so I have to bring them closer together using the letter space down arrow button. Click that several times until your letters are where you want them. Then you can weld it together, which makes it one big piece. Now we're moving on to step two, measuring our project and resizing the design space. We know from before, our design has to be under five and a half inches wide by four inches deep. We can go up here and change the colors. The background color is red, Nana's black, we love him white. Shrink it down. You can get rid of the grid lines in Design Space by pushing the little square in the upper left hand corner. Step 3. Cut your vinyl. Once again, we're using Oracle 651 vinyl, except this time it's a white matte finish. Stick your vinyl in the top left hand corner of your map. And then cut on your Cricut machine. So in Design Space, you're going to click Continue. You don't want to mirror image it. Select Vinyl. And then start cutting. Step 5. Weed your project.
skipping step six because I already cleaned the pots. So on to step seven where we transfer our design with transfer tape. Stick it all over my shirt so it's not so sticky. Lift it up. Place it right over the other name. And then place this right on the pot. This is so cute. I love this. Oh, hi, Callie. <laughs> Carefully peel away your transfer tape and admire your work. Moving on to design number three. We're gonna download the font from Creative Fabrica just like before. The link is in the description. Select all of these different fonts and install them. Some of them are monogram fonts, some of them are script fonts. You're gonna wanna use them all. Then go back into Cricut Design Space and refresh your page. That way your fonts will show up in your font selection. Then just type your words out. Thanks for watching this video. There is more to come but please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I should capitalize or lowercase the first letter of these names. I know that typically means would get a capital letter for the first one, but for the sake of trying to keep the name squished in between the two bars, sometimes it's better to just keep it all lowercase and then you can make it as big as possible. So we're going to repeat these same steps for all the different names. Mom, Nana, Grandma. I'm going to weld the word grandma, shrink it down, and then put it in between the two lines. Also change the font color to white. Now we're going on to design number four. This is the cute butterfly monogram. The link is in the description. Install all three of these. Make sure you save your project before you reload it to find your fonts. When you do reload it, it makes your background color disappear. That's why I just switched back to white. With this butterfly font, make sure that you use lowercase letters instead of uppercase letters. Otherwise, you'll get this weird design. You have to use the lowercase letters to get the split monogram. Bold so that it sticks better and is easier to read. Then 
weld it together, shrink it down, make the color white. You can play around with the background color to see how it would look on different color pots. Adjust it, make the color white, measure your project for size and design space. Step three, cut your vinyl. Step four, cut on Cricut. You can save vinyl by moving these designs around on this mat. That's what I'm trying to do here, is just adjust it to save myself some vinyl. don't have to mirror image it. Select vinyl as your material and then click continue and cut on your machine. Step 5. Weed your project. Step six, clean the surface with isopropyl alcohol. Step seven, transfer your design with transfer tape. Be very careful when making this transfer with the heart. I had a hard time getting it to go on without any bubbles or creases. I had to use my scissors and make some small cuts in it so that it went down flat. I was able to get it on all the different pots, but it was a little more challenging than the split butterfly monogram. Just take your time and go slow so you don't mess up.
Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you really liked it. Please like and subscribe. And check out my website, www.cricketer.com, for more helpful information, project ideas, tutorials, things like that. Comment below letting me know which design that you like best. Look at my little helper. She's so cute.